Oh my gosh, you guys, you guys, you guys, it's been a tragedy, a tragedy, I tell you, a tragedy! I'm looking around, and I'm seeing way too many- <clears throat> Good morning! How are you guys doing today? I would love to know. Let me in on all the juicy details, the secrets, the tea. Ooh, ooh, give me some tea. Give me some tea in the comments down below. No, but like, for real though, let me know how your week has been. I, for one, have had a pretty decent week, you know what I mean? I actually <laughs> didn't have- I uh, didn't have a good week. Okay, I had a good week, but the start of my week kind of sucked. Oh. Too many glockies. I film during like the beginning of the week or I try to film in the beginning of the week so that I have plenty of time to edit, right? And I tried filming this video and it sucked. So this is, this is me refilming this video, okay? But I'm going to pretend like it's not me refilming and I'm gonna pretend like I'm filming this for the first time. So when I'm talking about what I did, cause I already did what I was gonna do in this video, okay? So this, it's, it's kind of like, okay, I don't wanna, okay, shut up. Basically, what I'm gonna do in this video is pretend like I haven't done what I already did. So I'm gonna lie, but you're not gonna know that, okay? What, I mean, you know now. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you're attacking me. You're literally attacking me. This is me refilming this intro. I'm refilming this part of the video because this part of the video was really bad, but it's gonna be like I'm not refilming it because I'm basically going to lie the entire time. Okay, anyways, I'm on my way to get a matcha. I really need something in my system right now. You guys, I have been working out recently. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I've been in my bag. I'm too afraid to go back into the gym, so I've just been doing home workouts, but I mean, it's a start, you know? It's a start. So I just did my workout for the day, took a shower, and now we're here. But yeah, like I said, I have nothing in my system. I'm starving right now. I'm going to go get a coffee. I'm not getting a coffee, I'm gonna go get a matcha. I thought I was gonna get a coffee, but I think a coffee would be a little bit too much for me right now. So I'm gonna ease my way into the caffeine and do a little matcha, a little matcha latte. I love a matcha latte. How do you not like matcha? Like, imagine not liking matcha. That's so embarrassing for you. I remember I put matcha on my story one time and then people were telling me that, it, that it's like Shrek water. And it's just like, like, like it's, it's like mud water. <laughs> Why would you say that to me? Great, and there's no parking. <laughs> LA has a bunch of mini games and one of the mini games that I play is um, parking. Wait, okay, so if parking patrol already sweeped this street, then that means that I can park here. Cause they're not gonna, oh, and, and, and they're just, they're, okay. Parking patrol sucks, bro. Like, for once, don't do your job. I might have to get a ticket. I might have to get a ticket today. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do that to myself. I've literally been going around in circles just waiting for something to open up. Am I gonna have to park a mile away? I think that's what's gonna have to happen. I think I'm gonna have to do that today. I'm gonna have to park a mile away from my destination in order to get a mud. I might just wait for parking enforcement to do its thing and then park illegally. I might I might have to. I, I have no other choice. Like, I literally have no other choice. I don't know. Mom, if you're watching this, close your eyes. This is a tragedy. It literally took me 20 minutes to find parking. We're not gonna talk about whether it's legal or not, okay? We're just gonna, we're just gonna vibe. But I'll be back. Don't go anywhere. If you go anywhere, I might cry, okay? Okay. See you later. Hey. Come on! I also got this. I'm not gonna eat this right now, but I got this. It's a yogurt. Anyways, let's get into this video. Let's get into the reason why you clicked this video. So, I... Almost backed into someone. Okay, recently I have really been wanting to go thrifting. I used to go thrifting all the time back home, but now that I moved, I, I just never have done it. Well, I've, I've done it, but like I haven't, I don't do it as much as I want to. So today I think I'm gonna go thrifting. I don't know where I'm gonna go. <laughs> but you know, I'm going to, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna find some places. I'm gonna go thrifting and hopefully I find some really good stuff. A bunch of people say that the LA thrift scene is like one of the best thrift scenes out there. It's like LA and New York. People love thrifting in LA and people love thrifting in New York. I swear like I would literally take a trip to go thrifting in New York. I would take a trip to New York just to go thrifting. That might be something that I do in the near future. Who knows? Anyways, I think that I might try to get stuff out of the box a little bit. You know, some stuff that I am not really too into. I feel like it's a lot better to try something out while you're thrifting rather than try something out when you're buying like expensive clothes. You know what I mean? I personally would rather be a lot more experimental with my fashion if it's like thrifting than it's something else like that I'm buying like full price for. I also feel like with thrifting, you can make it work somehow. You could like cut up the clothes or you could wear it differently and just try different things, you know? That's why I love thrifting because it's just always stuff that is just random, you know? Things that you would never think to see. So yeah, I think I'm gonna try to shop outside of my box outside of my comfort zone a little bit and hopefully we will get some good pieces oh i'm, I'm really hoping i'm really hoping 
<laughs> Anyways, I'm on my way back home because I already filmed the next part of this video. Oh. So yeah, the next portion of this video, you will see I am in a completely different outfit, and it is a completely different day. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're like stepping back in time. We're stepping back in time. We got, you, we're time traveling. Wow. Look at us. Anyways, let's go thrifting. Let's go thrifting. Let's have a good time. Let's have some fun. Let's go thrifting. Thrifting montage in uno, dos, tres. I can't roll my arm. Thrifting montage in three, two, one. Action. Hey. Okay, so to make a long story short, I simply can't film in front of people. I can't do it. I don't know. I I, I, I just can't do it. So, um, remember that montage I was talking about? <laughs> yeah, um, that, that isn't happening. Um, I'm back in my room now, though, so. <clears throat> let's, uh, yeah. Uh, let's continue with the video. Hi! Do you guys like my beanie? It's red. I don't even like red. Like, honestly, red is like one of my least favorite colors. Red and like any green besides sage green. Like, if it's not sage green, I hate it. Instantly hate it. Anyways, um, we got the goods! I'm just gonna say it like this. LA thrift stores aren't thrift stores. They're literally just like stores that have normal prices, but maybe have like a few cents knocked off of them. They're not thrift stores. Like this one store I went into, why was my total $173? <laughs> and like it wasn't like that at just this one store. It was like that literally everywhere I went. Maybe I didn't do my research properly because I literally looked on Google for thrift stores in LA and then just like went to whatever Google recommended me. So this isn't this isn't my fault. Don't blame me. This is Google's fault, okay? Because Google doesn't know what a thrift store is. How much did I spend? Let's do the math. The grand total for today, $400. And I and I thought I was thrifting. Let me go ahead and show you guys the pieces that I got though. And you know how I said I wanted to like, you know, experiment a little bit and get pieces that are outside of my comfort zone? Yeah, I lied. So um, we're gonna start with, <laughs> we're actually gonna start with the only thrift store that actually was a thrift store. Also, there's a lot of black in here because I love black clothing. Black is my favorite color, even though some people will argue that it's not even a color. Shut up, okay, suck on it. There's a lot of black, so be, be prepared. I got this Star Trek shirt. I got this, <laughs> I know absolutely nothing about Star Trek, but um, I really like the vibe of this shirt, so I got it. I freaking love it. I have a crush on her. This is my, this is my girl right, oh, you can't even see her. This is my girl, you guys. I really like the colors on here, and I think that they just look really nice together, and I'm really happy that I got this, because it looks very authentic. Like, it looks like it was made, like, whenever this Star Trek era happened. I, do, I know nothing about Star Trek. Literally, shut up. I like the look of the shirt. Sue me. But it does. It really does look authentic to the time period that this was in. Whatever time period that is. It doesn't look like it was made yesterday. And I really like that about this. That's that. You guys. You guys. You guys. Listen. I... Li okay. Every single time we do one of these videos, I will pick up another blazer. Because I freaking love blazers. Like, they're my favorite article of clothing. Besides hoodies. But, like, they're my favorite, like, article of, like... They're my, I love, I love blazers. Like freaking look at it, man. And it has like this texture on it that is so pretty. Let's go ahead and get a little close up on that. Go ahead, get up in there. Isn't that like, oh my gosh, like come on, man. And you guys, this was like $12. Like this is the only store that I went to that called itself a thrift store and actually was a thrift store. So I'm really happy about that. Okay, this last shirt that I got, I saw it and had to pick it up. It's way too big for me, but um, Will make do. Oh my gosh, come on, man. And it says, simplicity is the key to brilliance, which I definitely agree with. Gosh, I love it so much. This next store that I went to, I only got two things in it because I didn't really find a lot of stuff that I wanted. Like, that's the hit or miss with thrifting. It's like, you sort through all these clothes, and it's like, okay, a lot of these aren't good, but then you find those gems. And that's why I love thrifting, because when you find the piece, you find the piece. Anyways, I got this in and out shirt. I just, I, I don't know. I love like shirts like this. I have a Jersey Mike sub shirt that I just wear all the time. I've never worked at Jersey Mike's. But I have it. And I really like the back of it. Like I really like this little painting on the back. It's so pretty. It's so Californian. It's so California. This image here, it screams California. And not just like, you know, the Hollywood sign and the California license plates and the palm trees and the mountains and the in and out. It's it just, it, the vibe screams California. I really like that shirt. Next up on the docket, we have the Superman shirt. I actually didn't like Superman growing up. Like, he just did nothing for me. I was more interested in, like, Spider-Man. I don't know, I just felt like he's just, like, some dude with muscles who can fly. And I was like, okay, at least Spider-Man can, like, you know, climb stuff and swing, you know? 
He's really cool. I don't know. Um, anyways, this shirt, it looks vintage. That's why I got it. It was probably made in like 2013. I don't know, but it seems vintage just because the like stuff is peeling off kind of and cracking a little bit. Anyways, there's this piece. And then that's it for the first two stores. Now these next two stores that I went into literally like you could have called them like designer stores. This next shirt that I got, you guys, I love it. I love it so much. I was so excited when I picked it up. Wednesday Adams? Come on. If you don't know who Wednesday is, like, get out from underneath the rock you're living under. Like, what? Wednesday Adams, Adams family. She's so iconic. And look at that. She's sipping on the poison. She, oh, like, come on, man. I love the shirt. I love the shirt. I love the shirt. Okay, so these next two pieces, they are a little bit experimental. I was really like, let me find some pieces that I would normally skip right past. Because whenever I, like, shop or, like, thrift shop, I, like, look through things like super fast like I go you know I look I look crazy I look insane but I do that I do that all the time and I originally I did that with this and then I went back to it and was like hold on wait a moment this is actually really good are you guys ready it's a lot it's not but like it's it's a lot I don't know man it's so good I love the colors I love the colors so freaking much I love all the shapes and everything and then look on the back there's like a little chicken and like the store that I went into was like a vintage store so, um, this is from the 90s, actually. Oh, so the name of the brand is Gooch. Right. This next shirt that I got is from the 70s, actually. And it's so good, don't get me wrong, but I feel like I'm gonna have a hard time styling it. Here it is. It's just like, you know, a basic white shirt, but it has a zipper here. Look at this detail on the zipper. Like, freaking look at that. Are you kidding me? That's insane. And the texture of the shirt is, like, very woven, I think. And the kind of scandalous part about it is that it's, it's, it's a little see-through. So, I'm gonna have to, you know... Do something with that, maybe. But yeah, I really like it. It's from the 70s, so uh, it's very vintage. You guys don't understand how much I love vintage things. Like, I love anything vintage. Like, if it's from, like, the 70s or, like, the 60s, come on, man. Anyways, here's a shirt. Moving on. Now, this last store that I went into, first of all, not a thrift store. I thought it was. Google said that it was. I went in there. Why do they have St. Laurent? Why do they have Gucci? I'm sitting here looking through these clothes, and I'm like... These are like designer brands. This is this th this is this a thrift th this isn't a thrift store and it wasn't. They call themselves a thrift store but it's basically a second hand store. This place is called Wasteland. Don't go in there if you are expecting a deal. Don't do it. But I did get a like, you know, a few really good pieces, I'm not gonna lie. This first piece that I got, I, I love. Like, I love it so much. I love stuff like this in general, so when I saw this, I, I had to pick it up. Like, are you freaking kidding me right now? It's like a night shirt, but it's not a night shirt. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I've been loving shirts like this recently where it's like, Ooh, I'm going to bed, but I'm not going to bed because I'm going out for a night on the town type B. It's so fun. And yes, I get it, it's basic. And yes, this shirt was $40, $60. Come on, man. Moving on. We have this vintage tee right here. I don't know what decade, year this is from, but I like it. It's very vintage-y. I'm a sucker for like fonts, and I love this type of font. And I don't know, look at the wolf. Like he looks scary. Whenever I'm wearing like vintage shirts or whatever, I kind of want to give off that like bad boy type vibe, you know? Like that bad boy, like don't mess with me type vibe. And I really feel like this shirt does it. I don't know anything about John K, but I like your shirt, dude. And then last but not least, this shirt I am extremely nervous to wear because of how see through it is. This shirt is like, this shirt has holes in it. It's not like mesh. It's like lace. And you know how lace has like holes in it? But I saw this and was like, you know what? We're trying something out. We have to do something different. And yeah, that's what this is. Are you guys ready? Ah! Like what? It's so nice. Like, I don't know. It's very scandalous. And you know, I'm not the scandalous type, but today I guess I will be. But like you see, like you can like fully see my face, right? No? Okay. I don't know. I really like it. I really like the pattern as well. Like, do you see this pattern? It's so nice. I've been wanting a piece like this, but I've always been, like, afraid of how I would look in them because, um, I don't have... I 
I have a burnt chest. So I always get a little bit, you know, insecure in tops like these, but um, I'll have to suck it up for today. So yeah, those are all the pieces that I got. Don't be upset at me. Okay, I don't need that right now. Also, let me know if you like the way I styled them. I hope you did. If you didn't, well, I, I don't know what to tell you. Sorry? Yeah, that's about it. Uh, see you later. My money don't jiggle jiggle, it folds. I like to see you wiggle wiggle, for sure. It makes me wanna